there is an element of this that is ex explicitly position taking for constituents right about um de developing a party brand and maintaining that party brand um and you know because parties have a delicate relationship uh with how they differentiate themselves from one another in, in the in the view of the constituents because constituents always want bipartisanship um not bipartisanship because it does anything right but bipartisanship for its own sort of sake um and so we that, that there is that sense of like, we want you to be bipartisan. But then we also said that like, I elected you to go represent our values, right? And they like, don't, don't give in, right? And so there's this delicate tension that, that exists between working with the other party, then also sticking, like kind of poking the other party in the eye. And so I think that um, pursuing a repeal in this sense helps to buttress that, you know, we are this team that we're against the opposing team. Um, what's interesting, of course, is that most legislation is passed bipartisan. Right, most legislation is actually passed with both Democratic and Republican votes. And so when we see these elements of, of repeals and, and party leaders really dedicating time in the congressional agenda uh, to talk about this repeal instead of the litany of other things that they could be working on, that it seems to really indicate like a real partisan strategy to, to animate their base, to make sure that they stay supportive and, and behind them, uh, whether it's financially or knocking on doors. Um, all of that seems to be kind of this, this kind of the tightrope between bipartisanship and also then real overt partisan activity.